Aspies can figure out how to uh, hide being, being fidgety, things like that. They can hide the quirkiness. They can sublimate the eccentricities into careers and being creative. So yeah, here's this guy, um, John. John and Yoko found him living, I don't know, out in his garden or something. So they they talk to him. The guy ends up being uh, very focused in on John Lennon, thinking he's some type of mystical or great philosopher or something. The homeless guy's thinking. I don't know what he's thinking, but he's obviously uh, obsessed with John Lennon. But Lennon, to his credit, was a nice guy, and they end up inviting him in and giving him a mail. There he is, looking at him. This guy, he might have, he looks like he had Asperger's. Kind of a smallish mouth with um, bigger eyes. Now look at him. No one's going to think he has Asperger's back then. They're going to think he has some type of uh, schizophrenia. Maybe he has voices, they think. But maybe he doesn't have voices. One in 30 have Asperger's. That's the big scandal. There they are. They invited him in. That's Yoko. I think that's Yoko eating some sausages. And I don't know why the the guy didn't see it. Maybe he already ate his rashers or whatever you call them. The uh, quality meal. But when you look at this guy, it looks like they gave him just a piece of toast and a coffee. And he looks like, what? Why did they? Why can't they give me the good food? But no, nah, I'm, I'm reading into it, and they probably gave him the the great stuff. There he is. He was stalking them at some talk show. So this guy didn't just show up out of nowhere. It wasn't a random stalking thing. But he was obviously harmless. Uh, they end up letting him in for mail. But it doesn't end there. The thing was, uh, Lennon was letting too many people around him. I'm not saying be like a Mark Zuckerberg with a friggin' personal army to protect yourself, but if you're rich and famous, you gotta be careful. It couldn't have been that different back then. John Lennon might have had a death wish, and we'll get to that in a little bit. There we go. The, uh, there was a guy called Paul Goresh who stalked John Lennon, and somehow Lennon ends up befriending him. So this is another reason why I think Lennon uh, had Asperger's. Um, Aspies are known for being too much of an open book and susceptible to ending up in compromising situations because of the innocent, childlike nature of the Aspie. So this guy, Paul Garash, he faked as a VCR, as a TV repairman. He somehow got in to the gated uh, New York City housing, uh, whatever, that Lennon lived in. And then Lennon ends up saying, okay... He become a personal photographer. I guess Goresh was from New Jersey, but New Jersey, New York are, are sort of the same thing uh, in that one area. Like Boston with uh, Providence, Rhode Island, up toward uh, that bottom part of New Hampshire. That's all pretty much one big area, I would say. I wasn't into Rhode Island or New Hampshire, but it's close enough. 